Yo, what's up guys, you're Jinky Dink here. Welcome to a video all about the patch. We had a patch today. Uh, I have some opinions about it, but I'm going to tell you uh, in a series of videos here about uh, kind of what they did in this whole kind of thing. So this one is just going to be about the uh, general gameplay adjustments. So they corrected some things in the move list. Obviously some things were incorrect. I saw that a lot when I would do uh, kind of the actual frame data on the screen. Uh, although that can, can kind of change depending on... Uh, you know where your opponent is and that kind of thing uh, so they made some changes there uh, fixed some things with augments I don't usually use a whole lot of augments I actually don't use them at all so if you use them rejoice I don't um, and this is the big one that uh, that I thought was um, the most beneficial in this patch was increase the button input buffer when exiting a block hit reaction from two to five frames so what this allows you to do is to punish things uh, more accurately so sometimes you might do like a forward one two and you'll get, just get like the standing two um, they changed that now so that's a little bit more accurate what it allows you to do as well is uh, I'm, I'm, this is why I have Garrison Cabal here so it makes it a lot easier or maybe even possible <laughs> for a move that's like minus seven you can punish it with a move that's minus six or sorry a six frame move it's kind of difficult but I mean you can do it I'll show you an example here uh, I may have to cut this out because I'm not very good so you see there it says punish on the screen so he didn't move back one two this is minus seven get away from me Cabal and I hit him with a uh, with a down one, which is six frames. So it's a one frame punish. Before a lot of those things, it would say minus seven, minus eight, ended up being uh, you know like minus four by the time you actually tried to get your button out. So that is a really big change that I'm uh, really happy for. So uh, other than that, as far as the general goes, there's several new brutalities for people. Uh, another big one is the all get up flawless block uh, launchers won't hit behind you with the exception of a couple that were kind of designed that way like uh, Kong Lao, Sony, and Garrus apparently are the exceptions. So fix some crushing glows that didn't work before. Uh, Nether Forge recipes. That's an interesting one actually. I love playing around in the crypt. Kind of sucked that I finished it so fast but uh, I'm definitely going to jump back in there. So. Uh, and then they made a bunch of practice mode changes, but I saw that uh, uh, Ketchup and Mustard did a really good breakdown of this earlier, so I'm going to post in the end screen their video, and I'm also going to link you to competitor's video about Johnny Cage, because he does a great breakdown of the Johnny Cage changes in this patch. So that's the general uh, adjustments in this patch. Uh, next video we'll be talking more about the characters that got, kind of got changed, and uh, Rip Spellmaster.